The fire at the Kavkaz oil depot in the Rostov region of the Russian Federation, which was attacked by Ukrainian drones, has been going on for the fourth day. According to OSINT analyst MT underscore Anderson, the fire has already completely destroyed 14 fuel tanks. For our partially destroyed, 16 are not damaged, the fate of the other 44 is unknown, since they are still hidden from satellites by thick smoke, Analyst X wrote on the social network. At the same time, the Russian telegram channel, Beware, News, reported that another explosion occurred at the oil depot on the evening of August 21. Eyewitnesses said that the explosion was visible from the city of Salsk, which is located 30 kilometers from the epicenter of the fire. It is also reported that in the evening the fire at the Kavkaz oil refinery intensified due to the wind. Let us recall that on the night of August 18, drones attacked the Kavkaz plant in the Rostov region of the Russian Federation. As reported by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, this was a joint operation of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense together with the Armed Forces of Ukraine. According to the General Staff, the oil depot stored oil and oil products, which were also supplied for the needs of the occupation army. Former First Lady Michelle Obama called Vice President Kamala Harris one of the most qualified people ever to seek the office of the presidency and went after former President Donald Trump in a speech met with an enthusiastic reaction at the Democratic National Convention. She took the stage in her hometown to remind voters of a feeling they had during her husband's campaign for president. Her speeches helped propel her husband, Barack Obama, to two consecutive terms, and who was widely spoken of as a potential presidential candidate herself, particularly early this year as the Democrats struggled to rally behind a single nominee to replace Joe Biden. And in Chicago she brought all of that considerable charisma to bear, and the measure of her popularity was underlined by receiving a welcome bigger than that which greeted Mr. Obama in his hometown. Among the highlights of Obama's speech was her leaning into Kamala Harris's background, highlighting her multiracial origin as the embodiment of stories we speak about in this country. Her story is your story. It is my story, she said, in response to jibes by Donald Trump. For years Trump did everything to make people fear us. His narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by two highly successful and educated people who happen to be black. Who is going to tell him the job he is seeking is now one of those black jobs, she said accusing Trump of ugly, misogynistic, and racist lies. Kamala Harris is more than ready for this moment, Obama said on the Democratic National Convention stage. She is one of the most qualified people ever to seek the office of the presidency. And she is one of the most dignified a tribute to her mother, to my mother and probably to your mother too, the embodiment of the stories we tell ourselves about this country. Her story is your story, it's my story. It's the story of the vast majority of Americans trying to build a better life. As reactions to Obama's speech poured in on social media, many noted that the former first lady appeared to have pivoted away from the soaring rhetoric she used when she coined the slogan, when they go low, we go high, during the 2016 Democratic National Convention. Now, un unfortunately, we know what comes next. We know folks are gonna do everything they can to distort her truth. My husband and I sadly know a little something about this. For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world 
made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. I, I, I want to know. I want to know. Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs?